Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another weekly grind video where we go over all of the events and summonings that are available on both the global and the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. First off is going to be the global side. Super Warrior Slam, victory will be mine. This is the Bio Broly event. This was released a couple days ago. It runs until 221. You have a couple, you have a lot of time actually for this one to be available. So if you did not go into this event and get the cards, go ahead and do so. It's not really a necessity. You don't need this Bio Broly. He is a free to play unit. He will do decently on a mono tech team, especially if you're doing like for prime battle. He could do a lot of defending if you're brand new to the game. Um, on it, uh, there are obviously better units that you could throw on one of those prime battle teams. But if you, again, like I said, if you are new, he's probably going to be one of the good ones until we get other events back. I have no one has any idea if that Balma event is coming back, honestly, the one where you could rainbow her with her own potential system. So he might come in handy for you. Uh, this event's pretty cool. You have some medals to Dokken Wake and some of the old school units. Highly recommend doing the Goten and Trunks. Um, those two units will Doken Wake in, and they Doken Wake with really a lot better passive skills. Uh, Goten's passive skill is 90% at the start of the turn, and Trunks is 100% at the start of the turn, making his mono physical team really awesome. So you can go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, he won't get Fierce Battle, but, you know, we can't really do anything about that. Those medals are available on Stage 2. You have Android 18 medals on Stage 3. Krillin, the actual card, drops on Stage 4. You don't need him. He's cool to grab. Plus, he drops as an SSR, which means you can increase the super attack of the Baba Shop Krillin or any other Krillin in-game without any issues. So go ahead and grind him out. I'd highly recommend doing that just because he's available. And you have the Broly and the Broly medals, the Bio Broly and Bio Broly medals on stage five. Outside of that, it's just a cool event to play. Go ahead and grab the Dragon Stones from there um, and you know go and grab whatever you want from, from the event to help you out with your team building. Um, next one is going to be Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan, so the other Broly event that's going to be back. That runs until 2.20. You have some time there with that one as well. Uh, this one has a whole bunch of cool items. Go ahead and do every single mission for our Dragonstone per run. Um, honestly, Shamo is, I believe that's his name, is a decent uh, support item. You get some Sensu Beans from Stage 3 if you're looking for sen some Sensu Beans. Stage 2 drops... Um, some Awakening Medals. I wouldn't recommend doing this one for Awakening Medals, honestly. I mean, just do it to, to beat it. Um, if you're looking for specific uh, Awakening Metal types, I definitely still recommend going to the individual type. Same thing with Stage 4, just do it for the Dragon Stones. Stage 5, you have a Videl and Trunks. So if you have any Videl that you want to get up to Super Attack 10, because I think there are two. They have the Valentine's Day Videl. Actually, I think that's the only Videl that's an SSR. So you can go ahead and grab, get her up to Super Attack 10 with the Stage 5 Videl if you want to. Overall, this unit, uh, the Videl unit and the Trunks unit, neither of them are really that great. Trunks doesn't really feed into any SSR variants of himself, at least the base forms. There are SRs if you want to go to get them up to Super Attack 10, but that's really up to you and not really worth the grind in my opinion. Um, outside of that, uh, you have the Doken Awakened Medals on Stage 6 for the Strength, Goku, and uh, Gotenks. Uh, and, or Gotenks, Goten, and then you have the Agility Gohan, the Super Saiyan, all from the Broly movie. Um, you can get get them all Doken Waken with, with the medals from Stage 6. Now, it's a little bit of pain in the bucks there, randomly generated. So, you know, you'll, you'll end up at one point with, like, 20-something medals of one of them, and then, like, four medals of the of one of the others. You know, and just enough for a Doken Awakening of one of the guys in the middle, maybe, like, Gohan. But overall, you know, that's where you're going to go ahead and get those Doken Awakening medals for those guys. That's these guys right here. That's this uh, Goku over here. Uh, Gohan and Goten. Now, honestly, uh, Goten is not really doesn't really matter if you do Doken Awaken Goten and honestly, um, Goku. I think Goku becomes a little bit more self reliant because the key plus three attack plus five thousand. Uh, but it's not really required. He's not going to be primary on your team. This Goten is probably only going to be run onto a team if you're doing the World Tournament for LR Broly, so that way you get the key orb manipulation. Uh, this Gohan is pretty decent. Some people will run him because he he uh, has an attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. And let's be real, it's always about the amount of damage someone can do with their passive skill. <laughs> but outside of that, the, uh, the Shamu card is down here. It does all enemies attack and defense minus 30% for two turns. Um, and that's about it for them for this event. It's pretty cool. Go ahead and grind it out if, Even if you're not gonna try and grind it out for any of the cards or anything like that At least try to get all six stages So when you do grab any of the cards for the Doken Awaken, you can go ahead and grab the, um, the Awakening medals Next one is going to be the Reeking Havoc Demon Over the Edge Doken event This is a Super Saiyan 3 Broly event. Now. I know I have not done a review on this as of yet I will be doing it soon. I promise guys. I know like I, I told you guys last week I was out sick with, uh, with the flu for a while so I have not been able to go over the global stuff. I want to go over all the JP stuff because there's a lot to go over on the JP side. And I already did technically do 
the Broly stuff for the JP side when he came out. But I still will go over him for Global, so you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, this event is going to be out again till the 18th, so you have some time to grind it out. Um, you can go and grind out, the, since the, you have the whole Android uh, 17 and 18 LR event going on, you actually have the other Broly event that's available every day as well, which comes in really handy because you can go ahead and grind out the base form Broly's, uh, get them Doken Awakening because you have the Stage 2 available on that event. You can get all them Doken Awakening without an issue and get 9 of them up to, well, the, his Super Saiyan form anyway. Then you can go ahead and grind out this event if you have the team to take it on in order to get them Doken Wake into Super Saiyan 3, which you can feed into his Super Saiyan 3 form. Again, I'll be going over that in the future. I know a lot of you probably already know about that, but I'll do a full in-depth video. Um, limit Breaking Form Link Skill will nullify the damage reduction skill of Broly, but honestly, this came out before we had category leads, and since we already have category leads on the global side, uh, a Fusions team can take him out without any issue. I, I, I don't have any problems. I also brought over a mono uh, intelligence team. That's that's possible as well. I think I even seen, I've even seen a mono agility team take him out. As long as you get crit, you're good. <laughs> um, outside of that, uh, you Doken Wake and Super Saiyan Three Broly. If you pull him, he's a mono extreme tech lead with seven of the with uh, I think it's what seventy seven of these medals. And this is the Broly that I was talking about. He Doken Wake into a Super Saiyan Three Broly. Now. I got mine, I got the one that I had already grinded out, um, all four Dupaz unlocked Super Attack 10, I Doken Awakened him, because, I mean, key plus three attack plus 70% of the start of the turn, while that's not, like, phenomenal, for a mono extreme team, that physical Super Saiyan Broly doesn't really have a lot of linking buddies if you're doing a mono extreme team. Now he does, and the Super Saiyan 3 Broly is self-reliant, key plus three attack plus 70%, you're, you're pretty good, you're starting off with nine key all the time, and he's doing some decent damage. Um, I have enough orbs, I'm probably going to put some dupe system in, but I'm going to wait. Honestly, when, when it comes to the dupe system with me, I've been waiting for the new system to come out, so that way I don't have to do each individual pod. So, it's not a big rush for me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can go ahead and Doken Awaken these guys up to Super Saiyan 3 if you like to. This is definitely worth it, in my opinion, to get all of the dupe pads unlocked. Even if you don't want to do that full grind for all four dupe pads unlocked, which I don't know why you wouldn't, um, but if you don't want to, at least do the bottom right, top left, so that way you can get those crits in if you're thinking about putting dupe system into him. Um, outside of that, guys, again, runs until the 18th. Next event's going to be Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga is available. Runs until 2-9, so you have one more day left of this. Um, event details. Uh, I just honestly do each individual stage for the Dragon Stones. Some notable things, Sensu Beans on Stage 2. Trunks is available on Stage 4. Um, Trunks Medals are in Stage 6. And then Super Saiyan Trunks and Vegeta Medals are available on Stage 7. Uh, pain in the butt to drop because one always drops and the other will not drop, so you'll end up with like 10 of one and then like 2 of the other. But uh, not that bad. He Doken Awakens into a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Trunks Future. You also have the Awakening Medals of Super Saiyan Trunks uh, Medals. Will Doken Awaken the physical one into the Super Saiyan Trunks Future. Um, this guy can feed into him and the Intelligence Trunks, the Rage Trunks. So you can go ahead and take advantage of that if you like to. And the Vegeta Medals let you Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan Blue Tech Vegeta into his 124. So this event's really sort of useful. I don't really use this Vegeta, um, but you can. He's not that bad. Attack and defense plus 70% for when facing only one enemy makes him pretty decent for a mono technique uh, super team. So if you have that Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, you can definitely go ahead and run him on the team. He won't be bad. He's just not like one of those primary units. He's like one of those A-tier units that I keep talking about. Like S-tier is your primary units. He's going to be like one of the good replacements you're going to throw on that team. Um, not phenomenal, but he has some decent uh, skills. Overall, this is a cool event. You can go ahead and grind it out if you have the free time to do so. I wouldn't make it a priority um, unless you really want to get that Intelligence Rage Trunks all the way up there. Though he's kind of like being phased out as of now. He's not going to be a primary unit on the team. Global side's a little bit different, but you know how, how fast we're catching up to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So just keep that in mind when it comes to that Rage Trunks and that grind might not be worth it as of right now. Um, next one is going to be the other Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dra Dragon Ball Saga event. Uh, this is one with Metal Rildo. You can go ahead here. This one ends um, tomorrow as well. So if you haven't grinded it out already, I have not grinded it out. I was sick with the, when I was sick with the flu. I mean, I was sick with the flu. I couldn't play. <laughs> uh, I couldn't pay attention when I played anyway. But you do have some medals here, which is really useful. You have the Trunks GT medals, which I need to go grind out. So that way you can Doken Wake in your Super Saiyan Trunks GT. He becomes pretty decent. Tech and Strength type key plus two. Attack and Defense plus 25%. So he becomes a really nice support support unit for a tech team you don't need him for super tech but he can be he, be, he can be good on a hybrid saiyan team because i did it when i did a team building uh, video on a hybrid saiyan team remember that gohan is a tech uh, a tech unit i mean sorry a strength unit and then all you have to do is run strength hybrid saiyans and tech hybrid saiyans and you can run him without any issues and you get that nice buff because he is a hybrid saiyan 
Um, that's just up to you. You could also just do it for Monotech Team if you like to as well. He's cool with that, but you don't really need to do it for Monotech Team because they all link pretty well. You also have this Goku over here, which is grindable. You can Doken Awaken him into the Super Saiyan Goku GT. Now, you don't need to do that, but the one upside of this, you can feed him into the other Super Saiyan Goku GTs. I believe there are two of them. Now, they both kind of stink, so you don't really need to do that. He, is, he, he himself is a small nuker, and because he is free-to-play, you can use him in any prime battle if you would like to. Don't recommend it. He's not really that great. Attack plus 7% for every key orb obtained is really not that great of a, a passive ability, but he is there if you want to grind him out. And you have Metal Rildo, which will Doken Awaken into Hyper Metal Rildo. Key plus 2 attack plus 4,000 when facing only one enemy. Now, that really comes in handy only because there's not a lot of free-to-play strength units in-game. There's, there's a decent handful. You, you, you have your pick. But I'm just saying there's a lot more tech units to choose from um, as opposed to strength units. So he's available there. Now you also have the metal apples that are available that you can use in exchange in for Baba Shops or for Baba Shop points. Um, so we get uh, goodies from Baba Shop. I would definitely recommend doing that. At least get some Elder Kai's, get some of the Awakening Medals if you're missing any of them. Um, get any of the special medals for the event if there are any in there, any available. Um, now when, when talking about the actual event, Stage 2 drops Goku, uh, the little Goku card. Stage 3 is the Trunks Medals. Uh, stage 6 is Pan Medals. Stage 8 is the uh, Metal Rildo Force, I believe it is, the, those medals. And then Stage 9 is Hyper Metal, or, or Metal Rildo. Uh, and Stage 10 is the Scientist uh, Ryu, I think his name was. So you can go ahead and grind all those out from each of those stages. You can go over to dbz.space. By the way, shout out to dbz.space is where I'm getting all my information from. Now, if you are looking to grind out just the Metal Apples for Baba Shop, Stage 7, um, Enigmatic Planet M2 is going to where you want to go. In terms of time, you're going to want to do it on hard, uh, sorry, Z hard. And in terms of cost efficiency, I believe it is Stage hard on Stage 7. Uh, normal on Stage 7, I'm sorry. I believe the cost ratio um, for drop uh, versus stamina, so like if you're a newer player, doing it on normal might be... Uh, be a little bit more fruitful for you because it's going to take you not that much longer to grind out a couple more levels of this but you're going to get more fruits per stamina used uh, for those of you who are just looking for the quick ones who have been here for a while uh, definitely z hard is a lot better for you because you're going to get you're going to get there a lot quicker um, but you have the stamina to burn anyway guys that's it for this round this one's a little bit more lengthy uh that, that again that ends tomorrow so if you haven't grinded it out already don't worry it comes back all the time um, next one is going to be Vegeta the Indomitable Warrior. This is my favorite event so far in the game. Maybe because I'm a big Vegeta fan. Maybe this is one of my favorite moments in the in Dragon Ball Super. Or maybe it's just because the artwork in this is just really nice. <laughs> um, and again, it ends tonight at 10 o'clock. So if you haven't done anything with this yet, it's probably going to come back. Now, this only has four stages in it. You have Trunks Medals on Stage 1. You have this new item on Stage 2. You have Balma Medals on Stage 3. And you have Vegeta's on Stage 4. Now, the Vegeta on Stage 4, you can go ahead and Doken Awaken him. He Doken Awakens into the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma card. He becomes an um, uh, Ultra Rare, or an SSR that can be Z Awakened into an Ultra Rare. Now, him himself, he is not a bad unit whatsoever, but he is the free-to-play version of the Strength one that's available on the banner. Now, you can do, you know, if you can grind these out, get them up to SSRs, you can go into here, you can Doken Awaken your Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta into Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma if you were able to pull him get him to the type Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma, and then Doken Awaken this guy, Z Awaken him for like a 50% chance to increase the super attack of the Ultra Rare, or you could just use other Kai's. Now, I recommend using other Kai's. If you don't want to go through that grind, personally, I would recommend using other Kai's instead of going through that grind, because honestly, I don't think it's worth it, unless it's guaranteed to use your uh, Elder Kai or Supreme Kai medals on anyone, unless it's 100% guaranteed. Now, this isn't 100% guaranteed, so I think that's a waste of time. Anyway, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Um, I would recommend at least getting him up to Super Attack 10 with 40 pads on luck. He's not a bad unit, and he's good for prime battles. You don't know if we're ever going to get more prime battles in the future. Key plus 3 attack and defense plus 50% when facing only one enemy. That's going to come in really, really handy, guys. So that's why I recommend doing that. Um, and he counters with enormous power upon receiving normal attacks, so he also counters. For a free-to-play card, he is really good. Um, this one, obviously, is going to be really good. You're going to get the Trunks, the Bulma, and the Vegeta Medals. The Trunks and the Bulma Medals are available from the actual event. Vegeta Medals, you actually have to go up here, go to Stage 2, get Puddings. Puddings will be exchanged in Baba Shop for the Awakening Medals, the Vegeta Awakening Medals. There's also Beerus Awakening Medals, because there is a Beerus here. So you need the Beerus Awakening Medals from the Baba Shop that you get from the Pudding in order to Doken Awaken the Intelligence one if you got him. Now, I did. I'm just waiting for more Tech Beeruses to come and to come in for me, so I get him up to Super Attack 10 before I Doken Awaken him, because his passive Supreme Damage with Attack plus 120% passive skill. He's going to be really insane. That's awesome. 
Um, overall, this is a really fun event. They have really good units. Uh, they finally made some non-Dokun event units that are like really OP. I think damage output, uh, the Reddit had him on the global side as being the hardest TUR hitter in game. And he competes with the LRs in terms of damage output. And that is because he has the counter ability with his passive skill. Um, so attack and defense plus 100%. So that's why, all right? So it's not like, you know, there's favoritism or anything like that. It is because he has the ability to counter. If he didn't have that ability to counter, he would not be up there. I would still definitely rec recommend getting over the Super Tech 10. But yeah, I Elder Kied him all the way up to Super Tech 10. And I got a Dew Path Unlock, which I'm super happy about. Anyway, guys, again, this ends. I hope it comes back soon. I really would like to grind out some of those Vegetas. I did not get this one up to Super Tech 10. I really want to do that with all four Dew Paths Unlocked. Again, I will not be able to do that tonight. Um, next event we're going to talk about, well, this is actually the, now we're moving on to the summons. This is the Dokkan Festival for the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I have not done a review on this yet. This ends on 2.18, so you have some time, so I will definitely be doing this soon. You have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, you have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you have Merged Monster, you have Tech Freeze, a Tech Cell. Now, um, well, you, all, you also have other featured characters. We have the Mass Saiyan Bardock, or not Bardock, and you have Kid Buu. Now, honestly, this banner, for me personally, this banner is good. You know why? I don't have Super Saiyan 3 Broly, obviously. I don't have Super Saiyan... Oh, I have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I would like to know. I need one more dupath path in order to finish him off. Um, Merge Zamasu, Fusion Zamasu. I have him and uh, Frieza, all four dupath paths unlocked. Don't need those two. Cell, I could definitely use some more dupes of him. I don't have Mass Saiyan. And Kid Buu can just be fed into any Kid Buu that you really want to. Overall, the banner isn't that bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to pull on it myself. I did I did do one multi-summon. I got shafted. No no actual uh, banner units. I might do like maybe two summons, maybe on a live stream or maybe just you know off. I will end up doing a whole collaboration of all the summoning videos I did not put up over the past few weeks soon. So stay tuned for that as well if you're interested in my summoning videos. Um, but overall, this isn't that bad. The, the Tech Broly, I know people will give him a lot of crap. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Tech Broly as a leader. He's not bad. He's a glass cannon for the most part because of his passive skill. Um... But he's still not that bad of a unit, and he has a really good team. I mean, look here. The, the Mass Saiyan Bardock is a really good unit. Um, Kid Buu, not so much. Uh, the Cell, okay. Now, I don't know why a lot of people, a lot of people hate on the Cell. This Cell is really good. Um, when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, he's going to be so much better as well. Like, I can't wait for that. But he's not that bad. He actually does a lot of damage. I saw someone with Super Attack 10 with full dupe system on him. And this guy's hitting for close to like 800,000 damage before Extreme Z Awakening. Now, imagine him with immense damage modifier with an increase to his passive skill from attack and defense plus 7%. Like, let's just pretend it goes up to like 12% um, at, a, at a low, or it could even go up to like 18%. Imagine if he had 18% with an immense damage modifier. He'd be so broken. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But this runs until the 18th, guys, so you have a lot of time to pull on that banner if you're looking to do so. Uh, next one is going to be combat power reinforcements. Just the filler banner. I don't recommend pulling on it. Um, runs until the 14th, so you have some time. Uh, uh, Tech Bardock, if you don't have him. Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. He links very, very well when he Dokkan Wakens with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, so definitely recommend doing that if you don't have him. Uh, the, the, the Nuker lead Vegeta is pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. He is definitely old school. You don't use nuking, nuking leads anymore. Um, if you pull him, he'd probably just be fodder for the Super Saiyan Intelligence Blue Vegeta. Uh, the Agility Golden Frieza, while his attack damage is really not that great, he's a great tank. He's just great to have there to reduce damage. So he's definitely worth getting. And there's a whole bunch of other units over here. Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Legend of Super... Yeah, there's a lot in here. So I definitely recommend going into this banner at least once if you don't have any of these units. Some of these units are really good. So like Bardock is a very good unit. He links very well with LR Goku. Out outside of that, he is a very good sealer for a tech team. Super Saiyan 3, Goku is not going anywhere just because he is literally paired. He is stuck glued to the hip of Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Um, Vegeta and Frieza, Gohan. Well, actually, not, not Frieza. Frieza is still pretty good. Uh, Vegeta is not really that, it's not really that amazing. Uh, Gohan, I don't like the agility Gohan myself because I hate that he stuns and he ruins the ability for Vegeta to get counters. That's why I don't like him. Um, the tech Goku is kind of whack. The intelligence Goku... He's not bad. He's an orb changer, so I could see you using him over the trunks if you're looking to get some orbs for LR Gohan. Uh, and Intelligent Super Saiyan God Goku is pretty decent. Beerus is hit or miss. Some people like him, some people don't. I'm not a big fan because there are better units in game, and I do actually have better units than this Beerus, but when his passive goes off, it's phenomenal. Oh, and his trunks? Great. 
So this is a decent banner. It's like one of those banners where it's like you're either getting gold or you're getting trash, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I just personally think that, it, that it's a good banner because like every other unit's actually pretty decent on here. But again, it's just a trap banner because it's trying to take uh, stones away from you before the other banners come. Personally, I'm waiting for Revival and for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner. Anyway, uh, next one is World Tournament Summons that runs until the 14th. You can go over here, get your GSSRs if you want to. A whole bunch of these guys. Stoke and Awaken. I'm still waiting for... Their, I know there's going to be more units to come into the World Tournament. So I'm waiting for the Dragon Ball Saga to actually get some new units. I have like over... I think I have like 200 summons available on the Dragon Ball Summons. So I'm just waiting for new units to get there because I just have not been using them. But um, yeah, go ahead and use that if you want to. Personally, I'm waiting. If you want to wait along with me for better units to come out, then go ahead and do that. Um, the next one is the Legendary Summon, still available, ends tomorrow, this is the Trunks Banner. I did a couple summons on it, didn't get lucky. Uh, this is just filled, this is just filled with everything. Because it has the LR Trunks available on it, he has a built-in crit when he's, I mean, especially like right from the beginning, he has a built-in crit. When he's an LR, it's a higher chance, uh, which makes him really awesome, but is it really needed? Um, when you have other units. I mean, I think he's a good unit, don't get me wrong. Uh, I just don't think this banner is really worth it. Just go ahead and ch try your luck if you really want him, or if you don't have any of these other Trunkses. Uh, this banner is just filled with Trunks and a couple of other, like, maybe a couple, like, a Vegeta and a Pan I see in there. But um, overall, I think the banner is overrated. I did do a summon or two on it, but that's just because I wanted to try my luck. And I could have used some dupes of any of those guys that are on there. Uh, overall, don't recommend it though. The other one is the Fury Explodes banner. I recommend pulling on this one just because I, I have a personal favorite for this. Um, it runs until today, so if you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and try your luck. It's a GSSR, and those are never that bad. And because you have one of the hardest hitting units in game and a really good intelligence Beerus, it's definitely worth it. Plus, the Whis is really good for support when he Doken Awakens, uh, which makes it really good for the Beerus because they're both the, it's the intelligence Beerus and the intelligence Whis. You have the new Trunks and the new Goten, which are really good at defending. They're really good tanks. Um, I think one of them has a certain condition. Um, like, you have, it's, well, it's a chance to guard against all types. Uh, and then you just have Vegeta, who's just phenomenal. He's awesome. So I really enjoy that. really like this. He is... Oh, he also has a rage mode. Like, he's just a freaking great unit. I love him when he gets his Doken Awakening. So I recommend pulling on the banner. That's definitely a great A for me. Uh, then we're going to move over to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. I know, thank you guys for sticking through me. Usually the videos end at 20 minutes. I've just been rambling a little bit. But that's because I want to go a little bit in depth. I haven't done YouTube in like a couple weeks too, so I, I miss being here. <laughs> uh, we're going to go, we're going to try and go through this really quick um, for the JP side. It looks like I only did the summons here. Interesting. Um, maybe it opened up reverse. Oh, let's do a reverse order. So we have the, uh, the actual physical banner that's here. I believe you get some potential orbs on this one and an Elder Kai. So it might be worth it for you if you're looking for potential orbs. I don't recommend doing it for the potential orbs, but they do have some good units. Um, I don't have that Goku. Maybe I say good units because I don't have that Goku. He's not a great unit, but he's not a horrible unit. They do have that Gotenks there, which is still relevant to this day. Um, and then you have the support units if you're looking for your monophysical support team. Um, overall, plus, I mean, this, this is not a bad unit overall, just because you do get Elder Kai, you do get potential orbs, and you have a chance to get uh, a, an SSR physical unit. Not bad at all. Up to you if you want to pull on it. It runs until today, so go ahead and summon on it if you would like to. Um, ends tonight. Uh, the next one is going to be the other Dokken Fest that's available. That's the Double Dokken Festival. Um, it has, you, there's two separate banners. One has the physical uh, Goku and Vegeta. The other has the Intelligence Goku and Vegeta. Both banners are really good. Both units, uh, both banners have some decent units. Honestly, the new filler units I think are kind of whack. I did a review. Well, I was doing a review on them. I haven't released it yet. But that review pretty much says the, all the filler banners, uh, all the filler characters in there that are brand new are whack. All the Dokken Fest exclusive ones are really good, but all the other filler ones are garbage. I wouldn't recommend something on it for those guys. Like, uh, yeah, here we go. These guys right here. Uh, this Goku, this Vegeta, this Goku, this Vegeta from their two epic fights. It's cool for nostalgia purposes, but they, in my opinion, they don't really have any real viable use at all. Especially these guys who are not Super Saiyans. They lack all the link skills that are needed for a, a good team build. I mean, if you're looking for them for, you know, let's say, you know, just for nostalgia purposes, or you're building one of those off-meta teams just because you like the nostalgia purposes of them, hey, go for it. See, these guys at least have the Super Saiyans, though. They're just very generic Super Saiyans with not that great of um, passive skills in my opinion. I don't think the, per the, the percentage based attack buffs um, per key orb is really that great. But that's just my opinion on the matter. Go ahead and summon on that if you like to. Um, let me know what you guys pull down in the comments below. I have not done my summonings yet. The festival ends soon, so I will probably be doing a summoning video on it tonight. Um, I haven't decided yet. But anyway guys, this is a pretty decent banner. No, these banners are really good. Pick which one you want and go for it. Third anniversary gotcha is held. 
go in, log in for those gacha tickets. It ends in a month, so you can go ahead and do that. I have like 50 or 60 of them saved up so far. I'll do a summoning video separately for that as well. Um, but yeah, that, that ends in a month, so make sure you go log in and grab, do the rewards and everything, just so that way you can get them. Um, next one is going to be, oh, this is the actual Dokkan event that's available now. This is for the LR Goku and the LR Vegeta, well, the LR Goku and Vegeta event that's available. That's going to be available until the 6th, so you have about another month for this to be available for the third year anniversary. I highly recommend doing that if you pulled any of them. Same thing for the, what is this one, the intelligence type? This Yeah, this is the intelligence for the Vegito. This is the, 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 the physical one is Gogeta. The intelligence is Vegito. Runs until the 6th, each of them for the Dokken Fest to go ahead and get the medals to Dokken Waking them. Highly recommend doing that if you were lucky enough to pull them. Uh, next one is going to be the, uh, the Namek Saga event for this Strength Gohan. Now, I didn't do a review on this yet. He's cool because he's a really strong free-to-play strength unit. Um, I recommend getting with the Super Attack 10. All four dupe has unlocked because he has his own potential system, so you don't need to use the potential orbs for him. So which makes him a really good free-to-play unit. Um, uh, it's up to you um, if you want to go ahead and grind this. When he comes to global, I will definitely be grinding it. I'm not grinding it on the JP side. I'm just grinding out the Dragon Stones. That's about it. <laughs> Um, overall, that's about it, guys, for this event. Uh, this one runs until the 6th. I'll do a full review on that and its own separate video. Um, next one is going to be the bio, well, the Broly event. I already went over this on the global side. It runs until the, the 11th. Nothing has changed here. Go ahead and grind out all the Shamos on Stage 1, like I said before. Since we've been Stage 3, Videl and Trunk Stage 5, and Stage 6 is all the Dokken Waking medals for the Goku, Gohan, and Goten medals. I'm not going to stick too much on this because I already did it on the global side. Uh, we also have this available to the 6th, the Goku Power Fully Open. So this is going to be uh, a Goku special where you can go in once a day and you can beat this event once a day in order for you to get uh, specific medals to go into the Baba Shop and purchase. Plus there's mission rewards for beating this a certain amount of times. Uh, go in, it's available once a day. It ends on the 6th, so you still have about a month of this to be available for you to get all the um, medals, coins, and everything you want for it. Last but not least, guys, Battle of Gods event runs until the 9th of March. Now, this event's pretty awesome. You have Beerus medals to Doken Awaken your Intelligence Scott Q card. You have the Weiss medals to Doken Awaken the Technique and the Intelligence Weisses. The Intelligence Weiss is really good for support, by the way. Um, the, this Weiss is also pretty good because he reduces damage, I believe, and he has a high chance to stun. I think they both have a chance to stun. I think the Declan does it better. Um, you also have the Farmable rare Goku, which will Doken Waken with Beerus and Leaf Metals, which I don't recommend doing, so you get to go Super Saiyan Goku, so that way you can feed him into the other Super Saiyans. He's an SR, so it's only like a really low chance for you to increase it, even if you Z Awaken him. Um, what I recommend doing is getting all the other medals, the Videl, Gohan, Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks medals, get a whole bunch of them, you're gonna need like, like about 150 of them, in order to get a whole bunch of these Gokus up to Super Attack 10. Well, get one up to Super Attack 10 with all four Dupes unlocked, um, Actually, I think he only goes up. Yeah, he only goes up to an SSR. So you're gonna, you're gonna want to get him to a God Goku card first. Get him up an Ultra Rare, Super Attack Ten, all four Dupes unlocked, and get him uh, awakened again because he does get another awakening. And then get a whole bunch of these Super Saiyan Gokus to this stage, so that way you can feed them into all the other Go God Goku cards. Maybe 150 was being a little bit nice. Um, you're probably gonna there's what four of those cards, so you're gonna need about 400 or something like that for most of these medals because it requires like 10 medals of each to get one Goku card, uh, Doken Awakened. So what four times? Well, no, actually not even four. Um, it's it's 10 times nine, which is 90. 90 times four. So yeah, let's just do so. That's, that's about 400 plus the actual card itself. Yeah, no, there is a lot that you're going to have to do here. Yeah, it's about 500, 500 of those medals that you're going to have to grind out if you want to do that. Um, just pick one and do that. I, I would probably se select the uh, Strength one um, or the Intelligence one just because both of those are pretty good. They're all good, though. Uh, anyway, Beerus medals are Stage 1. Weiss medals are Stage 2. Pilaf and his gang are on Stage 3 and 4. Gohan is Stage 5. Goten and Trunks medals are on Stage 6. Vegeta medals are on Stage 7. Videl medals are on Stage 8. The Goku card is on Stage 9. And then the last three are not really that worth it, in my opinion. Um, Pilaf seals and Mai reduces attack, I believe, by 30% for one turn. I forgot what Shu does because it's in Japanese. Uh, but anyway, overall, this is not a bad uh, event. You can go ahead and do this. is like one of those events where if you literally have nothing else to do and you're just trying to train some Stam, go ahead and do that and grind out some of those medals to Z Awaken or Doken Awaken some of those Gokus into his God form to feed it into his either agility type, his physical, well, not his physical type, actually his physical, um, uh, the intelligence type or the strength type in order to get them to Super Attack 10. 
But anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for the review. This one's 30 minutes long, so I apologize for it being that much longer than my typical ones, which are only about 20 minutes long. But I want to make sure I covered everything in depth, in detail. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.